The Congress party now in power in the state of Karnataka is facing a crunch with regard to funding and that crunch is coming because of the freebies that they had announced. It's become a huge political showdown. They are being attacked by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Remember, Siddharamaya government had announced massive government schemes ahead of elections in Karnataka. Now, we are being told that there is a massive fund crunch that they are facing, not just with regard uh, to the schemes that they had announced, the welfare schemes, the freebie schemes, but then for the development that the state of Karnataka also needs. Uh, we are being told that DK Shiv Kumar has said there is a fund crunch for the PWD and the irrigation as well. Is it because of the freebies that this draining is happening or is it some other reason? Are they targeting the government at the centre of not releasing enough funds for Karnataka as and when needed? BJP has jumped in. The BJP has said this is because of the freebies. It will ruin Karnataka and the Congress has sent out betrayal for the residents of Karnataka if there is no development because of the funding. Where are all these funds going to if not for the freebies that were announced by Siddharamaya? Listen in to what Deputy Chief Minister DK Shivkumar has said on the freebies, then a clarification, then an addition on the funding crunch. Development of your version now could a Kagala. Nan irrigation will like a look at a Kagala. PW look at a Kagala. Expectation Bada Ide. Idike. So they can wait Madi and Tedi, no other Shaskanga Puxa the Sabekardo. Our explain Marti. Parasi Mukiman Tigro, Edidare. Budget Man on the Sandal Bale, Mantigur Kuda, our Salpa Talma in the Rebek on the Mantu. Bear it time, Mandu and get time of Bada busy too. ಆದಷ್ಟಿದ್ದ <laughs> So, of course, the BJP quick to react over these comments and then a clarification also that came in from the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, DK Shiv Kumar. Joining me now on the phone line is Amit Malvia. He's uh, the IT cell head of the Bharatiya Janata Party. He's also the co in charge for Bengal. Mr. Malvia, why are you saying or why the BJP is saying that this has got to do with freebies? He's saying there is a fund crunch in the state and we, are, we know about it, we are aware about it, we are looking at it. Why is it being connected to the freebies? Because the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka has gone on the record to say that they had to set aside 40,000 crore rupees for the five guarantees that they promised, which is nothing but freebies. It is funding consumption and now they have no money left for development. This is not all. Their MLAs have been writing letters to the ministers seeking development funds for their areas, which has not been forthcoming. There is talk of rampant corruption in transfer posting in Karnataka, and they've not been in power even for six months. You can imagine what Karnataka is going to go through if this kind of governance continues. And let's be clear, there are no free lunches. The freebies are not coming out of the Congress's kitty. It's coming out from the taxpayers' money. Karnataka needs development. It is a progressive state. It's an industrialized state. It needs new investments. And here we see Karnataka being taken back to the medieval era by the Congress party. But, Mr. Malvia, they were also on the streets, remember, because over the Annabhagya scheme, the Congress party said it was the FCI, or it was indirectly government at the centre that had stopped uh, selling rice to the state governments, and that's uh, led to a lot of promises that the government of Karnataka had made to be able to stall then the Annabhagya scheme. So they've also blamed the government at the centre and the ruling party, BJP, that you are deliberately tried to stop their scheme so that they're not able to go ahead. What do you say to that? FCI's policies are common for all the states. Uttar Pradesh, for example, buys whatever rice they need for their welfare program from the open market. Nothing stops the Congress party in Karnataka from doing so. Blaming the center is a convenient way out of your failure. The truth is that the Congress made a certain commitment of providing 10 kg free rice to people of Karnataka, and they must deliver on it. And let's not forget, the center already provides 5 kg free rice um, and that's been provided to 80 crore people across the country. 
So what else is the Congress going to do on its own if it can't even deliver on its promises? Did they check with the center or the BJP before making these vague promises which they can't fulfill? Of course not. So if you've got ahead and made a promise, find the resources to deliver on it and at the same time ensure that the development of the state does not stop. Amit Mandu, I do have an added question because now it's going to be about uh, uh, specifically their fund crunch. And it's a big statement for any state government to say we don't have funds, whether it's regard to irrigation or PWD, and that will affect the development of the state. Now, how do you think we need to look at that? Don't you think the government of the center should be coming in support of the Karnataka government over this? They have funds. They have diverted the funds or set them aside for the five guarantees that they have made. The question is that why did they make these promises if they had not budgeted for them? And this is a larger question for the kind of politics some of the opposition parties are doing. There is only limited amount of fund and that fund has to be utilized for the purpose of development. It cannot be used for freebies, particularly when they're not required. Because there are several other schemes and programs that provide free ration, support to those who need it, the marginally vulnerable. But when you promise it across the board, when you promise uh, free electricity across all boards, when you promise a uh, dole or a handout to people across boards, when you promise uh, unemployment allowance across the board, then you have to find the money and the resource to deliver on it, which is what the Congress has done. It is one thing to win election. It is quite another to govern and remain in power. Clearly, the Congress is struggling to do the latter. Right, Mr. Amit Malvi, I appreciate you speaking to India today. Thank you very much. For